Number 2. The most controversial Marcos's wealth. The wealth that could save the world. 7,000 tons of gold bars. Deposited to 170 banks around the world. With a value converting to $294 billion. The amount that was shown, but not exactly the full number. That was said to be the most controversial wealth of one of the most powerful and wealthy m a n that became the president of the Philippine Empire after years of having its own independence. In the interview dated back to 2013 of GMA anchor Mel Tiancigo to the previous First Lady Amelda Marcos, she showed a room full of documents that she called the documents of the trial of the century. The room consists of documents where the late Ferdinand Marcos Sr. deposited into a 170 banks around the world. 350,000 documents that w a s used against Amelda Marcos. Documents of shipments where one shipment valued to $240 billion. She didn't even disclose how many shipments she plainly said, and these are plenty of shipments. The anchor asked her if she's open to sharing the wealth to Filipino people, and she answered, These will save the world. This is the reason why I want to survive, and it is not for me anymore. Not only for the Philippines, but for the world. Though the government of the Philippines does not have any formal number of their wealth, there was a Filipino politician who said, quoting the words of the previous First Lady, that the superpower is stopping the Marcoses from touching their wealth. That's maybe the reason why, when the anchor asked Amelda what is she waiting before she can execute her intention of sharing their wealth, Not only they are stopped by the called superpower, but also people are still accusing them that they thieves, but she counter it like they are the ones who've been stealing from them. In short, they are the victim, and also saying that the late president really suffered from those wealth. Where did wealth come from? If you want to know more, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell button so you never miss any amazing stories about the Philippine Empire.